Ladies and gentlemen, popote mulipo ni na wasalimu hamjambo. Mimi ni Mr. Igul Ezra Nikopele Nuskio. Ili tuweze kusungumza yale ambayo ya metendeka katika kanda hii ni na waomba msamaha kwa sababu siku ya leo. Hicho kina ni wanga. Sijui ni kutolala ama vipi. By the way, wanaunda videos back almost saa tisa ya usiku. Ha? Wanaunda videos mbaka saa tisa usiku. Sijui sasa ni kutolala ama vipi. Kicho kina ni wanga lakini napata matibabu. So, ladies and gentlemen, nimeweza kuona mwanga kwamba regardi la shawa haendi popote. Let me tell you the truth. Nimeweza kuona mwanga kutoka kwa seneta mmoja ambaye ni Rida uh, Richard Momoima Onyonka, seneta wa Kisi County. Kwamba regardi la shawa hataenda popote. Regardi la shawa hatatolewa kwa serikali. Kwa sababu kiweza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo wabunge waliweza kupiga kura kumuondoa regadi la shawa mamlakani it seems that walikuwa wanataka kumpea adhabu they were punishing regadi la shawa na nielewa wapenzi wa tazamaji ninakuomba uweze kumsikiliza seneta Richard Mwimo Nyonka jinsi ambavyo alikuwa anazungumza Lafu ni narejea na mingi tena zaidi ni kueleze ni kwa sababu gani ambayo imeweza kunifanya Mimi kusema kwamba Rigadi la shawa haweze akaenda popote Na tuweze kuona je Ni kipi ambacho kita tendekea rigadi la shawa endapo hata weza kuondolewa mamlakani The way you have looked at it, my answer is very simple the National Assembly was discussing and basically raising issues which they felt um, many of them were using to justify or to explain why DP Gashawa is actually being impeached. But for us at the Senate, we have decided and we have said this, and it's very simple. We are looking at the facts. We are going to look at each and every accusation that has been laid. If you say that the Deputy President has participated in disinheriting children of his brother. Please, give me the evidence. I'm not going to be discussing hearsay. If you tell me that he's tribal, I will tell you, Sami, that uh, yes, chances are, in fact, those facts do, do exist. He was um, giving names of individuals who come from his community, but isn't that what the president has done in employing his permanent secretaries who are now over 100 and yet in reality, yes, Sami. What do you mean 100 PSs? Yes. Mm -hmm. No. Absolutely. In total, they're just about Sammy, 51. Sami, please can come here and give it to you, brother. Don't, don't challenge that, please. There are 51 PSs. <laughs> Sami, there are some where you have a department which has got two. I'm saying. Are, are, no, no, okay, let me, let, me, let, me put, let me simplify it for us. PSs and senior government officers in state departments and corporations. There are more than 100. And if I sit down and give you... We'd wait, wait, Sami, Sami, Sami. Would have to count. Sami. The list is, it's, it started three years ago when I was talking about it here. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can okay, run through that list. So what Gachagua has done, is not shocking. That is how we've been behaving. What Gachagua has talked about, this was a company. Shares were being distributed. He said he got, the president kept 60%. He was given his percentage. Musalia and Weta got their percentage. That's the reality. So when we in the Senate are looking at this impeachment, we don't see Gachagua as a failure. We don't see Gachagua as a tribalist. We, don't, we see him as a consequence of this system which has become so dysfunctional that all we do when we seek power, Sami, is to take state resources, to take state opportunities and share them between our friends, our relatives and our tribesmen. And that's this, that is a fact. So let us interrogate that as Kenyans. Let us know Gachawa is, a, is an accident. Out of this reality that we are facing, what is our reality? We are a country that is so dysfunctional okay. that we have gotten rid of meritocracy. What we do, we now reward um, chronism. We reward um, uh, relatives. Right. We reward those people who helped us win the election because they donated the money. 
And it does not matter whether we are going to reward somebody who has no capacity because they come from a poor background, because they're a child of a border, border rider. And what we have done is basically brought that war to the public, and the public is now discussing it. And that is why when people are saying Kufa Dereva Kufa Makanga, what they are actually, what Kenyans are telling us is very simple. This system you guys are running, we know it's cooked. So you're either going to get rid of each other so that we can have a new start if there's anything like that that can come in. Mm. Number two, or you are going to sit down and agree that you are going to fix the mess that you have created yourselves. And that is where I am. So, so going to vote in the Senate for me yep. is a matter that I will interrogate, I will look at it, I'll even consider the historical aspect of this. Also the understanding that currently <laughs> the broad-based arrangement, <laughs> uh, that um, the House is likely to vote in that direction, similar to what we saw at the National Assembly. So what is the place of facts, or is the place of emotions, or is the place of interpersonal relations, even as you go to determine this? Um... <laughs> You're being very kind, uh, leader Madam Elachi doesn't want you to talk about whether it's bread-based, broad-based, bride-based, you know it's become everything. Uh, there's something that happened at the National Assembly the other day, um, uh, which again, this is uh, an exercise that we are learning from. The members of parliament did not sit, or neither did they receive counsel from, I believe, the members of the, the clerks and members of the legal department or whatever, so that they understand that even when you're making your accusations, they must be based on the motion that you've tabled. That's number one. Number two, the second issue that came out very clearly is that, yes, because of the broad-based arrangement, you saw many of my colleagues from the ODM side um, uh, speaking passionately about Honorable Gashagwa's issues. And therefore, in the public realm, in the public sight, it looks like members of parliament have just become a lynch mob, which, whose intention and purpose was to try and uh, excruciatingly uh, punish Gashagwa and talk about everything they could talk about him. Karibu tena wapenzi watazamaji tusonge mbele kwenye mwendelezo wa masungumzo yetu. Nina imani kwamba umeweza kumsikiliza seneta Richard Mumuimu Nyunka wengi wanasema kwamba he is the only sober senator. So kama wewe ni mgeni please wacha tu niweze kukuomba upige subscription ili tuweze kusonga mbele kwa utaratibu. Why am I saying that? Rigadi Gashawa is not going anywhere. Why am I saying that Rigadi Gashawa is not going anywhere? Reason number one, it is because of the evidence. Ushaidi ndiyo utafanya Rigadi Gashawa asiende papote. Umeweza kumsikiliza Mr. Richard Momomo Nyunga akisema kwamba Hawaendi kupiga story katika mswada wa kumuondoa Rigadi Gachagua mamlakani. Hapana, hile ni nyumba ya juu ambayo iliweza kutengwa kutoka kwa watoto ambao ni wabunge ambao wanapiga piga kelele kule bungeni. So, wataenda kuangalia ushaidi gani ambao umeweza kuwasilishwa tidi yake Richard, yani tidi yake Rigadi Gachagua. Mfano, serikali inasema kwamba Rigadi Gachagua ameweza kufanya William Ruto asije akafanya kazi. Wanataka kuona je, Gachagua ameweza kuzuia kivipi serikali zifanye kazi? Namba tu, wanataka kujua kivipi Mr. Rigadi Gachagua is undermining the devolution kwa sababu Niliweza kusikia seneta wa county ya Nairobi yani governor wa county ya Nairobi uh, Johnson Sakaja akisema kwamba regardi gachagua ameweza kuzuia county ya Nairobi isifanye kazi. So maseneta watakuwa wanataka kuweza kujua ni jinsi gani ambayo 
Gachagu ameweza kuzuia sen, eh, kaunti ya Nairobi isifanya kazi. Mr. Johnson Sakaja anasema kwamba huwa anafanya maamuzi katika kaunti ya Nairobi gachawa anazuia. Mfano, aliweza kuhamisha basi ama kituo cha basi uh, kaunti ya Nairobi. Gachawa akaweza kumwambia kwamba kabla hujaweza kufanya hivyo, fanya kitu ambacho kinaitwa public participation. Namba 2, tuliweza kuona hata kipindi ambapo ga asakaja alikuwa anahamisha uh, wauzaji katika ama wafanyabiashara katika soko ya marikiti kaunti ya Nairobi gachawa aliweza kumwambia kwamba fanya kitu ambacho kinaitwa public participation uweze kuelewana na wananchi wanataka uweze kuwasogeza kwenda wapi now that is the reason as to why Sakaja is saying that Regadi Gachawa is undermining the devolution. So, wanataka kujua kivipi Gachawa na zuia kauti ya Nairobi isifanya kazi. Wanataka kujua ni jinsi gani Gachawa na zuia kauti ya Nairobi isinja kafanya kazi. He is not going anywhere. Because according to the constitution, inasema hivi, hawezu kafanya Jambo lolote bila kuwashirikisha wananchi public participation. Na Gachawa alikuwa anamwambia Sakaja kwamba fanye public participation. Umeweza kuona hata hatua nyingi ambazo serikali imeweza kufanya huwa zinasimamishwa kwa sababu hawakuweza kufanya public participation. So, mtu ambaye anaitwa Onyonka ameweza kutuambia kwamba wataenda kuangalia ushaidi Awaendi kuangalia stories, awaendi kuangalia essays, wataenda kuangalia ushaidi. Endapo kuna ushaidi wa kutosha, gacha watatoka. Endapo hakuna, mm -mm. atabaki, afanye kazi. Ishu nyingine ambayo itafanya regadi gacha waweza kubaki, ladies and gentlemen. Hii serikali inamtuhumu regadi gacha wa kwamba ye ni mkabila. Siyato huu liweza kusikia wakisemi ya kwamba gachawa, oo oh, ni mkabila, gachawa, oo oh, atafanyi serikali isifanya kazi. Now, Richard Mamoimo Nyonka anauliza hivi. Kipindi ambapo serikali ya Bona Ruto ina mtuhumu, ligadi gachawa iti kwamba ye ni mkabila, uwa na tetene ula mulima Kenya peke yake. Kumaanisha gachawa peke yake kwenye isi rekali ndi mkabila. Kwa sababu, William Ruto ameweza kuteua, Alisema public services workers wengi sana kutoka kabila yake. Meweza kuchagua PS wengi kutoka kabila yake. Meweza kuchagua CEOs wengi sana kutoka kabila yake. Si hata huo ni ukabila. So, onyonka anasema kwamba, wataenda kuangalia regadi ya chewa ni mukabila kivipi. Alafu waangalia na serekali, ikono mukabila gani ndani yake. Mfano, hapa hivyo kiweza kuangalia. Hmm? Nataka uweza kuangalia. Head of the Civil Service, Felix Koski. Kenijen CEO, Abraham Serem. Kenya Power CEO, Joseph Siror. Kenya Pipeline CEO, Joe Sun. Energy and Petroleum Regulatory CEO, Daniel Kipto. Kenya Nuclear Regulatory Authority Director General, James Keter. Ketrakol Company Secretary, Lydia CTNA, Ketrakol Company, okay, Kenya Ports Authority CEO, William Ruto. Kuna mtu wa maa naito William Ruto, siyo raisi. Kenya Ports Auto, okay, Kemri CEO, Elijah Songok. New KCC CEO, Nixon Sigei. NSSF CEO, David Koros. So, onyonka meweza kutuambia hivi, awaindi kusemi tikuwa magachawa meweza kufanya kwa soflani, Wanataka kuweza kuangalia ushahidi. Unasema kama gachawa anatetea nola mlima Kenya peke yake. Lakini ukiangalia wile muruto, yeye ni mkabila chini ya maji. Hameweza kuwateua watu wake peke yake kwa serikali. So, Mr. Richard Onyonga hamesema kwamba, gachawa ni product ya wile muruto. So, kama gachawa anaenda, hata wile muruto haende, diposa tuweze kumalizo kabila. Rizo number three ya bao ni meweza kuona kwa mba William eh, Saka Ni meweza kuona kwa mba gachawa haendi popote 
ni kwa sababu ukiweza kuangalia serikali ya broad, broad based government waliweza kushirikiana kumtuhumu rigadi gachagua kwamba ako na makosa tangia serikali ya broad based government ilipoweza kuundwa ndipo gachagua alianza kupata matatizo so ni kumaanisha kwamba hii serikali iliweza kuundwa wakiwa na intention ya kumuondoa gachagua mamlakani kuna penye niliweza kumsikiliza unajua nilikuwa nasikiliza mahojiano ndani ya Citizen TV kuna penye Mr Richard aliweza kusungumza kwamba kipindi ambapo uhuru kenyata aliweza kuungana na Raila Odinga nani aliweza kuumia sana ni William Ruto sasa hivi William Ruto ameweza kuungana na Raila Odinga ni nani ambaye anaumia sana Rigathi Gachagua so wataenda kuangalia ushahidi hawaendi kuangalia wao oh, wabunge waliweza kurukarukaje kule bungeni wakimuondoa Rigathi Gachagua and in fact ile msikilizaji Richard Momoimo Nyonga akisema kwamba wanasema eti kwamba Gachagua ameweza kuiba mali ya ndugu yake wanataka ushahidi waweze kuona ndugu yake ameweza kuibiwa mali kivipi na wanataka kuangalia ile will ambayo ndugu ya Gachagua aliweza kuacha waone kama inaendana so ladies and gentlemen Zoe Arigadi gachagua kwa miaka ijayo mitano. So 2027 ndio Arigadi gachagua aweze kuona kama ataulizia kiti chochote aweze kurizaini kutoka kwa serikali. For now Arigadi gachagua haendi popote. Save this video na mtaniambia kuanzia siku ya Alhamisi. Jina langu ni Mr. Eagle Ezra. Asanteni sana.